It's you. <laughs> I'm totally okay now. See? I'm fine. Honestly. I didn't have any major injuries, and I'm totally okay now. I was just thinking a little about Cory. Cory wasn't good at anything. Bad at sports. School. Totally out of step with everything <laughs> even when things were tough she'd still have this gentle smile like she was somehow happy i first met her after we started high school it was through mother Corps, uh, that we met to be honest at first i just kind of wrote her off as this dim-witted kid she was always following me around, so at first, I just kind of saw her as an annoyance. So... I treated her coldly at first. And yet, she didn't shy away. Whenever she saw me, she'd come running like a puppy. I wonder... Uh, when it was. The two of us joined student council. And Cory, she got bullied a little. People would hide her things or mess with her desk. It went on for a while. And even then, she was always smiling. She always smiled like she was enjoying herself. Even though I was the reason she was getting bullied. That smile was always on her face. You see, originally, I was being bullied. Cory saw people were teasing me because I was... spirited. So she stopped them. And they came after her instead. I had no idea. I just kept thinking she was annoying. And then one day, I ran into her being bullied. But... she looked at me and smiled. Cory just smiled. As she always did. I realized that smile of hers was a sign that she was fighting an impossible battle inside. It was a sign that she was struggling, that she wanted help. Until then, I had no idea. And so I clenched my fists and went for the bullies. The teacher caught us and we were punished. Not exactly a happily ever after. <laughs> after that, Cory stuck even closer to me. <laughs> and I accepted her. When we saw her earlier, Cory was laughing. Laughing the same way she did back then. I know that laugh. She laughs that way when she needs my help. It's just like it was back then. She's suffering because she wants to help me. So that's why I need to save her. Ouch! Sorry. Sorry. You're right. I don't need to save her. We do. Hello. Oh, you're with Hitsuki. Oh, my. I'm not interrupting something, am I? Come on, Sierra. Don't tease us. <laughs> Just a little joke. And now that you're back and relaxed, you and Enga are like two peas in a pod. The similarity is uncanny. What? Uh, I'm too young to be jaded. <laughs> Junior year! I've got dumb kid time left! Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Ugh. What are you doing there, Enga? Don't worry about it. Yo, 
Sierra, I thought we were in a hurry. What gives? Oh, yes, we are. We've picked up Eskim Falsman readings. <sighs> Again? Where? I'm verifying the coordinates now. They're at Celestia Academy. That's Hitsugi School. <laughs> School? How did I get here? Wait, there's nothing weird about this. I'm a high school student after all. I go here. This is normal. But it feels nostalgic and lonely. I wonder why. Doesn't it feel that way for you, too, Hitsuki? Huh? Hitsuki? Oh, right. I came here because Mother wanted me to. Right. And she told me that Hitsuki would show up if I caused any trouble. Suki and I spent our days together at this school. This is our place to return to. She will come here to protect it. I will destroy it. I'll destroy it? But why would I hurt the place where I spent my days with Hitsuki? To get her back? To save her? I have to destroy our special place to do that? Why? Why? You can't do this, Kori! Listen to yourself! Hitsugi and I made all of our memories here. We studied together, played sports together, laughed, got angry, cried. Together. Always together. I can't. I won't. I would never! This place, this school, this is where Hitsugi and I belong. I won't let anyone destroy it, ever!
Earth is active again. We have deployed a counteroffensive for ops who meet specific requirements. Please assist. Troublesome. You really shouldn't interfere with someone else's patient. Stop! Stay out of me! No! 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 Stop! Stop! I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight a Zuki. I have no other choice, though. This is for Mother. If I don't kill Hitsuki, she won't come back. And Mother won't be happy. <laughs> All right! Time to die, Hitsuki! You'll come back to me! If you die! You... People just how rotten are you? Give Hitsugi back. Kitsugi, you shouldn't have to do this. I'll take care of her. No. It's been my mistake from the start for not facing her properly. So, I'll set things right. I will be the one to strike Cory down. So 
troubled. Shake it off. I was always alone before you. You were my first friend. The first person who was important. I want to be together always. Forever. No matter what happens, Hitsugi. <laughs> to just take her down. But man, that wouldn't be right. Yo, Hitsugi, you want to save Al too, don't you? Hurry and save Cory then. Use your power and make your dreams a reality. Enga, thank you. were when we first met. in and undoing my procedure you cut the ether without harming the body according to legend it has the power of purification 
I never would have thought that it would manifest as this. It appears the ether responded to her feelings. Her desire was so powerful, overwhelming, to save Kori Washinomiya and the hybrid. My, what an unexpected and lovely response. I had fully intended to kill you. Faelic! What is your intent? Didn't I say to kill you? I'm asking you, why? You have a detestable scent. The scent of someone arrogant and foolish enough to believe he should control others. Your scent is not like those of mother or of arts, and I find it most repugnant. He got away. Well, no matter. I can kill him at any time. <laughs> you seem to be developing quite well. I can hardly wait for my chance to see you at full power. attitude from before go. Everyone, can you hear me? Sierra? What's up? You look like you just saw a ghost. We'll talk about it later. But just look at the... the sky. Look at the sky. At the moon. The moon? What the... The moon... is changing color. Thank 
you very much. 